I didn't come out to my family until I was 25. And even then, my dad pulled out the Bible verses and everything you would kind of expect. But I just reminded myself, I love him, but he's wrong. I think it's more, I don't know if it's necessarily that I knew I was gay as much as I knew I wasn't straight. I didn't realize until my later teens, actually, that I even was queer. When I was younger, I kind of like knew that I was interested in guys, and I knew um, since maybe eighth grade that I was interested in women. Well, I grew up pretty isolated, and it was pretty difficult, and it was I knew very early on that it was something not to talk about. Growing up gay was difficult. Um, I come from an all-black community where it's best characterized as homophobic. So I grew up very isolated, very invisible, um, felt um, very oppressed without knowing why. I didn't always know that I was queer, but I knew that something was a little off. But I can certainly tell you the first time I felt attracted to a woman, it was 1980 Christy McNichol Little Darlings. I was six. I realized that not everybody liked girls at, when I was about in the sixth grade. It was so surprising to me when I came out to my parents as, um, as bisexual at age 19 and they did not accept it. Um, it was a real shock. I'm really not out in the community at home. If people know they didn't find out from me, um, I don't mind, but it's not something that's discussed outside of the house. In the seventh grade, I, um, there was an article in Time Magazine and I talked to my mom about it and it was like, how bisexual people, like it was arguing that they could choose to be bisexual. It's like, I know that's not true because I didn't choose to be bisexual. And then my mom was like, oh honey, it's a phase that everybody goes through. It's okay, just like stick it out. And I was like, okay, that's fine. My brother is gay and it's a tough moment for him when he finally came out to us. Is He was basically kicked out of the Navy when he was 21 years old because he was gay. But when I went to college, things changed. Coming to college is probably the biggest it gets better moment out there. It got better probably once I left home and went off to college. So things really got better for me at university when I start making the connections between racism, sexism, and homophobia. Things got better when I got to college because I found that I was able to express my queer identity with my own peer group. I wasn't at Rhodes for an entire week before I discovered what GSA was, and I joined immediately, and I've served in office on the exec board all four years that I've been here. My sorority, AOPI, is really great. Um, they're all really big supporters of um, the, or the marriage equality movement. The college years are often an awakening to a wider and more diverse world. When I became dean at Rhodes College, I was particularly interested in the concerns of our GLBT students. So we started a working group to promote policy changes and attitude changes that we thought would be helpful to not only students but also faculty. And I think those have had a big impact and I'm very proud of having promoted that. Rhodes really goes out of its way to attract gay and lesbian professors. My athletes are real sensitive about all the issues. We have a portion of our team that went to the Safe Zone training, so they're more supportive of the LGBT community. So I think it's been certainly great for my team, but I think it's been great across the athletic department as well. As a college professor here at Rhodes, I really want to make sure that a student never thinks that having a gay identity, a queer identity, or a fluid sexual identity, I don't want them to think that that is anything but normal. So because my life was so profoundly changed at university, I now teach as, a, as an academic in a way that I hope facilitates change and transformation in my own students' lives. Over the years, we, it, things really got better with my family as well, and um, now we have a great relationship. It's really fantastic. It gets better. You'll find the people, you'll find the places, you'll find what fits you, and it does get better. And I see every day how it gets better. When I came to Rhodes, I was in the closet, I decided to come out, and by my sophomore year, everyone at Rhodes knew me as the sassy lesbian, and it was fantastic. It does get better. It gets better! It does get better. Hang in there. It gets better. It, it gets, gets better. better. I promise it gets better.